Here in Microsoft Word 2016, I'm going to show you how to insert a leader into a header. Uh, a leader is a very interesting thing. It's easier to show it than explain it. So let's go ahead and get started. Click on the Insert tab at the top, and then click over in the header area. We'll just go ahead and choose Header, and we'll choose a blank header. And we'll just type the word header at the top. And then we'll go to the Insert Alignment tab. Click on that. And you can see the leader by default is set to none. So if we go ahead and choose set it to three, for example, and we click OK, then we can see that after the header, we have all of these different dashes that show up. Let's go ahead and put in header is now longer or shorter. So we can see as I type the, different, the additional letters, you can see that my header has gotten longer, but my leader has gotten shorter. So the leader doesn't expand, it just keeps filling up. So the reason for the leader is no matter how many letters you have in your header, if you have different headers uh, in different pages, they're all going to have the same length. And so that way it gives it a uniform look. And if you want, you can change the amount of leader if we uh, go ahead and go back into our Insert Alignment tab and choose 5, for instance, then we have a much longer leader. And if we go back in and say choose number 4, then we have a slightly different leader. So you can choose anything that you want here, and it will go ahead and alter that information. So let's go ahead and change back to just the word header and take a look and see what those other options will do for us. Let's go ahead and choose number four. Now we can see with number four, we get a solid line. So it looks a little different than those dashes. So that's what you get with leaders when you insert a header in Microsoft Word 2016. When you're all done, just go ahead and click Close Header and Footer. And you can see that on every page, we'll have our header.